trucking industry in the United States has been grappling with a driver shortage for a long time. And that's a problem that's only going to get worse in the coming years. Long hours, days away from home, and the occasional hazardous conditions combined with the retirements have continued to decimate the ranks of drivers. Add in the added risk due to COVID-19, and you have freight that can't be shipped because there are no drivers to move it. Against this backdrop, the case is being made for developing a fleet of autonomous trucks. They would handle the long, boring job of traveling between terminals on the interstate, with human drivers being used for the first mile, last mile of the trip. Kind of an in-the-city, out-of-the-city situation. Perfect combination, right? Turns out, not so much. Seems that recent uh, report um, from the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration's their 20th annual Analysis, Research, and Technology Forum uh, talked about the future of autonomous trucks, and they were very straightforward about it. Basically, what they said to those in attendance was that um, it's not that it's going to happen. It's not that if it's going to happen, it will happen. It's going, it's got, it's a fact. It's a thing that will happen and it's going to happen soon. And it kind of depends on where you are in the scheme of things or whether or not you press the buttons. Now they say that the average age of a truck driver today is 48 years old. Wow. They also say that by 2028, the shortage in truck drivers will be some 160,000 short. So this is a necessity. Well, let's let's bracket that a little bit. The statistics say that there are 2.5 million truckers on the road, of which only 300 to 500,000 are what you call over-the-road heavy truckers. In other words, the tractor trailer rigs, stuff like that. I thought it was more than that, but that's what the numbers are. If you're 48 and they say the statistics say that most are, you know, over 40 with about 33 percent over 50, you're going to be retiring probably in the next 10 to 15 years anyway. The argument that I have is, again, it depends on what side of the argument you're on. Drivers that look at this say, oh, my God, I'm going to be out of work. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, we've reported here over a period of time how the fleet companies, the trucking companies, are enabled to, in fact, they're turning away business because they don't have the drivers Mm -hmm. to move the freight. That's right now. That's today. That's happening in real time. Against that backdrop, you know, I'm not really sure if it's one of these chicken or the egg things. I think that the driver shortage is only going to accelerate the need for autonomous trucking those people in the know at the agency says, ah, autonomous trucking, really autonomous trucking's 10 to 15 years out. And because of the cost, uh, we expect that it will take even longer for companies to adopt. I say you're wrong. And I'll tell you why. I think that with the driver shortage being what it is, uh, we don't know the full effects of what COVID did to drivers who maybe weren't thinking about retirement, but rather than put themselves at risk on the road, said, I'm done, I'm out. And maybe they retired earlier than they normally would have because that definitely was a thing. Also, because of COVID, there's been an interruption in training for new drivers. So we've got that gap in there. When you're looking at that gap, plus freight, plus the resurgence of the economy when it comes back online, which is going to need even more drivers in the short term, I think that it would behoove companies not to invest heavily in automation, at least the big trucking companies, for sooner, not later. Yeah, and they, you know, there's different levels to this, which I thought was interesting too, because it seems like you could kind of slowly bring it on while you have the human drivers there, but then you kind of, uh, the technology slowly takes over certain responsibilities for them. And what about, are they going to be able just to automize every aspect of it, like the loading and unloading? No. Yeah. And, and they did make a point in this piece that specialty drivers, uh, special loads, hazardous loads, um, un, unusual loads will still need a driver because of the non-driving tasks that are associated with it. And that's a good point. It also means that you probably get paid even more money because it's a specialty job. But as far as moving a van full of stuff, 
you know, a trailer full of stuff from California to Florida, those days are numbered. I really do think so. And I think that as the technology gets better, I think you'll have safety drivers for a few years. But I think that you'll see. Yeah, I know. That's exactly no, I saying, what I'm thinking. Do, 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 when they actually go driverless, do you think they'll put maybe like a a dummy in the chair to make people feel better? Cause no. Imagine when you go next to a semi on the road, you look next to you and there's just no one in the driver's seat. What I really believe will happen, I think that there'll be legislation that will limit what times of day that autonomous trucks will be able to be on the interstate. Okay. I yeah. all, now, this is me talking. This is not the federal government or yeah. anything. This is just my take on it. I believe that it would not be unusual for autonomous trucks to run, say, midnight to 6 in the morning from terminal to terminal uh, in a dedicated lane. I really believe that will happen. That makes sense. With speed limited to whatever that speed is. Yeah. Uh, with appropriate warning signs on that road that this road you know, from this time to this time, this lane is reserved for autonomous trucks. And, you know, that's going to be a thing. And I think that that would happen. I think it will be legislation that gets us there as opposed to the technology. I also believe that legislation will require a safety driver in the truck at first that may, yeah, that sure. may take a step back as it gets more accepted and they work out the kinks to maybe a remote driver who monitors the truck and the trip to the day when that doesn't happen. But those steps, I think, could be 10 to 15 years. That makes sense. When we return...